Hey diecast collectors, got in my GT Spirit 4GT. Been wanting one of these for quite a while now and just kind of been putting it on the back burner, on the back burner until finally eBay threw up that 15% off coupon on models or any toy and of course I had to grab one. I haven't actually found any reviews on this one yet so hopefully I can cover all the bases for you guys. It's actually my first time getting a GT Spirit that came in the plastic. And the box is still damaged. What gives? Oh. My QC card. Which, from what I've found out, actually doesn't do anything with GT Spirit. Because my first GT Spirit model I ever got came broken, and I let them know that this is my QC number, all the information, and they're like, well, you need to go to the person you bought it from and let them take care of it. So, I had to fix it myself. That is one stubborn box. Nice. The background. And interesting, it didn't come with a base plate. My first one I got actually did come with one, but it appears that this one does not. So let's see. I got two screws. The bottom holding this thing down. One day I'm gonna buy some gloves to do these videos. Wait, what? That is stubborn. All right, got it loose, and one of my fears on this model. I can now see in person. I saw in the pictures and stuff like the promo shots and I was hoping that it was just like a pre-production model or whatever and it wouldn't be true on the actual model itself. But if you look at the decals, they're not cut. So right where there should be a, a line or a crack in the body, it just flows right over. Cause right here, if like it was real stripes, obviously you would you would see the stripes go into the crack. But on this model, it goes straight over the top, which you can see in the promo photos and stuff. Again, I was hoping that it wouldn't be true, but unfortunately, it looks like it is. But I mean, if you're looking at it from far away, like if you're at a distance, I mean, it's not really something you're gonna notice. And especially like right here, you can kind of see in the light shine. It looks like there is a bit of a cutoff, but unfortunately, it's not. Now one thing I'll give him props to, this thing is heavy. It feels very, very solid. Like if you were to go buy one of the Mazistos or whatever that has the 118th 4GT as well, I mean it probably weighs like a third of this. And I know with the resin body, it's not the resin that's really weighing that much. They do like the solid metal chassis. And I'm guessing they're either putting weights in there or just using a thicker metal. 
And this is number 236 out of 504. Interesting. I didn't realize that this is limited to 500. I thought this was a thousand piece, but that makes it all the more rare. I'm happy with that. So, taking another look, one of the things I like about auto art, which unfortunately this one doesn't do, you can see that the caliper and the rotor are one piece. And what they did was they did the tampo on it, obviously, and the blue coloring on the caliper to make it look like it's separate, but it is definitely one piece. And the yeah, the caliper actually eats into the rotor just a little bit. Filming this in 4K, so if you're looking at this on a large screen, you should be able to see how that caliper is cutting in a little bit. And yes, I am being very nitpicky, especially when I'm paying $150 for a model. <laughs> I will be very, very nitpicky. But I'm also one of those weird guys that when I go looking at models and stuff at the stores, I I tend to bring a flashlight or I have a flashlight with me and I'm looking at all the details. I was actually hunting with one of my friends stuff and we came across the was it the Jada Grand National a while back. Is that an open mesh? That is a nice detail. It does have open mesh on the the front, so it has a real grill. But um we found the models and I had been dying to find one of those Grand Nationals, one eighteenth one. Finally found one, and I pulled out my flashlight, and uh, I was so disgusted that I just put it back on the shelf, and I walked away, never even ended up getting one. Man, I kind of wish I had now, but also at the same time not, just because I love having high detail in my models. And that one, I felt like, <clears throat> I don't know, I've seen so many 124 scale, or even 143 scale models having so much more detail. But unfortunately, not that one. So it was a hard pass. And this is a resin model, so it has everything sealed. And let's see. So one of the biggest complaint on the competitor was the engine bay. Was the detail was lacking that it was just a little plate that's in there, and unfortunately, it looks like the GT Spirit falls in the same category where the model or the engine comes up maybe like three millimeters in the middle and that's about the biggest height difference you get between it and the bottom of the plate. It does have a pretty cool carbon fiber look to it though. Let's try to see. So it looks like it's just a tampo in the way it's done. Let's see alright so on the rear end you got the mesh. You got the real mesh in here. And it, the exhaust ports are not very deep at all. The exhaust tips, sorry. So you can see right here, that's as deep as it goes. And the mesh inside the tail lights is just a solid plastic piece. It doesn't actually open up. Kind of like down here in the front grill, there's actual mesh. Unfortunately, in the tail lights, it doesn't seem like it does that. And the license plate is crooked. Oh, <laughs> I just fixed the license plate by putting it up. So it looks like that's just a sticker. Got a nice little detail here. Yeah, that is solid. And actually you can see right here how deep that actually goes. So the wheels on this one are fixed. They do not turn, but from what I've seen, at least on the resins, they usually don't turn. Um, who is it? There is one 118th model carrier out there, a model maker, that actually does have the wheels turn. I forgot who it was. I think I actually have one of their models on order, so I'll probably do a video of that. It'd be pretty cool. Let's see. So, these are real mesh as well, which, I don't know, I just, I love that. And these are real mesh back here. It's like just that little detail makes such a huge difference in the look for me. Definitely like the headlights and got the, like the little even the little cuts in the bottom. And 
Yep, there's actual plastic pieces in there, little bars. Something that, like, on the smaller cars, you can't get that kind of detail. Because, like, if you buy one, like, the green light ones or whatever, the green light, and obviously it's just a tampo on top to make it seem like it has this, but... This one actually does have some def. And look at that. Right in the middle of that headlight, it says GT. Love that attention to detail. Interior, probably not going to be able to get too good of a shot. So again, it is sealed. So I'll get a little bit of a glimpse. Oh, and one of the other things that I noticed on this one between it and its competitor is the flappy paddles. They're a lot more solid looking in this car. Yep, and look at it in person. It does have a little bit more depth to it, as you can see. I felt like the other one, I don't know, it felt a little more cheap or flimsy looking. So there you have it. <clears throat> this is the GT Spirit Resin 4 GT. This one's limited to, what is it, the 500 pieces? Or, I tell you right now, the 504 pieces is kind of like an odd number. If you're planning on getting one, I definitely try and grab it now before they start selling out. Because like I don't know if you've done what I've done, but I've kind of waited on the other models to where I'm thinking like the price is going to go down, you know, because it's not going to be so popular, or whatever. But of course, what happens is they tend to sell out and they tend to go up really high in price. So if you're planning on grabbing one. I'd say grab it now, but I mean, I'm actually, I'm really happy with this one. I'm, oddly enough, like, I'm more happy with this model and the way it turned out than my other uh, GT Spirit, because I've got the Dodge Viper ACR. I just, I think they kind of skipped a little bit on the details on that one versus this one, where I feel like it's a lot more solid presentation of what GT Spirit can do. So again, it is a sealed off resin, but I mean, it is very highly detailed. I'm very happy with it. I mean, the engine bay, they can't really do much on these. And I think that's why another competitor got like knocked off on the engine bay was just because it's a plate. I mean, but again, with it being a solid resin and the way the resins are made down below, I mean, you can't really have, I guess, too much of a big engine in that location. So... If you're going to get a resin, I mean, that's just unfortunately the way it's going to be with the four GTs. And this one looks very presentable. And I will be doing a comparison video between this one and the competitor once it comes in. So that way you guys can see the differences, like, actually in the video. Because right now, I can't find one on YouTube. I can't find one on Google. So hopefully this will help you guys all making your decision on which brand you'd prefer to go with. So anyways, guys, let me know what you've been finding out in the diecast world. How's it going? And as I always, happy hunting.